Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel, wherever you're joining me from across the globe today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just have to say, I am truly humbled, beautiful souls, by the outpouring of love, the comments, the, the beautiful new subscribers, beautiful new viewers. And of course, to all of my subscribers, some of you have been with me since day one. I am sending you all so much love. I appreciate each and every one of you. And coming in today, big, big messages again this week, beautiful souls. And this one will not disappoint. I heavily feel that it is for my divine feminines or or predominantly for my beautiful divine feminines out there. But of course, we carry both masculine and feminine. So fellas, beautiful masculines, I am certain that there will be messages in here for you too. But the first card out today, beautiful souls. Now, if I could have a twin, <laughs> this would most likely be her. Joan of Arc. They just said, swords are blazing, right as I showed this card, beautiful souls. Joan of Arc, a sacred activist. Do not be afraid. Stand up for your beliefs. All across the planet right now, beautiful souls, and I'm just getting goosebumps saying this, we are literally having this being ignited within us, this activation, these, these like, they're just saying going to the forefront we are the front runners we are not afraid you know we have the sword of truth right we have god's protection behind us beautiful souls this fiery energy leo season it is literally in every single card that i have been um, guided to and pulling out of this deck beautiful souls but again joan of arc do not be afraid stand up for your beliefs Many of you, I talked about this last week, you are coming up and out. You are coming from the back to the front. You are coming from the pit to the palace, from the bottom to the top. You are being brought out front and center for the world to see. And you are not afraid, right? You have God's protection. As I said before, you have an army, a legion of angels behind you. This is very heavily Archangel Michael, the purple and the swords as well, beautiful souls. Some of you may have been really feeling Archangel Michael's presence around you. And Leo season, right? Lions are not afraid. They are the king of the jungle, right? So many of you, they're just saying lion strength to me right now. Many of you, hearts on fire. Oh my goodness, they're chatting to me. I'm lighting up in goosebumps already. But your hearts are ablaze, they said, with, with bravery and courage. And you have no fear in stepping forward. And they're just saying like the breastplate and the armor of God on you at this time, beautiful souls. There has been so much done in the dark on this planet over thousands of years. And much of that now is being brought to the light and is burning away. <clears throat> Right, and there's going to be some battles, beautiful souls. As I said, this isn't going to be rainbows and unicorns and lollipops and candy. There is going to be some serious, serious warfare as above, so below. But again, beautiful souls, you are equipped for such a time as this. Your clarifier to this, beautiful souls, again, very humbled, very, very humbled, beautiful souls, when this one came out of the deck. And so extremely fitting for this message. Mother Mary. Mother Mary and Joan of Arc. Miraculous encounter. Divine experiences. Do not be afraid of being powerful. Many of you, beautiful souls, have a heart like Mary. Right? Beautiful, simple, loving, generous, kind all of the things. But you know what? God's lit you right up. You are not afraid. And let, let me just say, no one wants to cross you, beautiful souls. No one would, would want to cross you in this energy, right? You have love in your heart. But, but when it comes to protecting your children, your family, your community, this planet, beautiful souls, you are front and center. You've got your armor on. The swords are up. The fire is ablazing, they're saying, behind you. So let's get into these messages, beautiful souls. Joan of Arc, hit me up in the comments. I was actually told that this was 
literally an energy that people saw around me at times when I had other intuitive healings done, beautiful souls. Joan of Arc is a Roman Catholic saint and French heroine who was widely loved and respected for her role during the Siege of Orleans in the 15th century during the Hundred Years' War when she was a warrior helping to push the English out of France. Joan is reported to have been a visionary who encountered Archangel Michael. Of course, look at this. This has Archangel Michael all over it, beautiful souls, and various other saints from the age of 13. Through these encounters, she developed the strength and courage that led her. And at age 17, oh my goodness, to experience the voice of God. What did Mary experience, beautiful souls? Angels coming in, Archangel Gabriel coming in, right, to say you have been handpicked and hand chosen, right, to bear the Son of God onto this planet for Yahweh, Yeshua, Jesus, however you reference Jesus, beautiful souls, obviously for many people it's easier saying Jesus, but again, many of you last week with that massive um, message, yes, Yahweh and Yeshua, back in the day there was no J, there was no J in the alphabet, no pronunciation, but beautiful souls, the voice of God telling her to expel the English from France. Don't be afraid of being your most authentic self. Many of you, they're just saying, have been hiding in the shadows. But remember, God has been working on us, your angels, your soul team. They have been working on all of us beautiful souls. In the background, they've kept us covered. They've kept us isolated. They've kept us separated. We felt like the black sheep. Right, We have a mark on our heads, beautiful souls, a royal mark on our heads. The chosen ones, the remnants are being raised up in this season. And boy, are we not afraid that we have been through the pits of hell with many of the experiences that we have been through in this lifetime. And beautiful souls, once you've been through the fires of hell, you're not really af afraid of anything anymore right? Don't be afraid of the passion that is moving through you. Many of you, this is this Leo season. This is this energy, this fireball energy, solar plexus and sacral chakras on fire, literally burning with passion is the words they just gave me. You are going to be lit, lit up, from the inside out and I keep talking about this golden glow around you beautiful souls that people will not be able to dismiss they will see it they will feel it before you even walk into a room right now there is a huge opportunity for you to stand up for what you know and believe in and this is what's happening we are being called front and center to stand up right now, beautiful souls, to the darkness that has overtaken this planet. The light is shining into all of the dark spaces and places. And when I mean dark, I mean Satan and his minions. We carry light and dark, beautiful souls. That is a whole other, that is a whole other message. Yes. But this is talking about the actual infiltration, the way that the matrix has been programmed for thousands of years. These structures, these old ways of being, our old belief systems, beautiful souls, everything they're just saying is come crashing down. Um, beautiful souls, you might feel as though the world is against you. But there's something in your spirit that is telling you never to give up. And beautiful souls, this is where your blessings are going to come from. No matter how low, no matter how dark your life has been, these experiences that you have been through. And let me tell you, I can relate to a lot of them, beautiful souls, on so many different levels. That each and every one of you is like, I stand with the sword in my hand. And if I'm going to go down, I am going down fighting for what I believe in, for what I know is true and right and just. 
beautiful souls, this is why you are chosen. If you feel unrecognized or misunderstood, hands up in the air, beautiful souls, if that is you or has been you, don't let this lack of validation get between you and what you know is right. Beautiful souls, keep on moving. You have a divine plan. You have a set purpose, a soul mission. And let me tell you, we are all being called forward right now. Today's message is a message of confirmation. You are onto something and that something is so important. So do not pull back. Feel the fear and do it anyway, beautiful souls. You've got God and all of the angels, Archangel Michael here with you. You cannot lose. You are standing in truth, love and light, right? The light wins. The truth wins. Love wins, beautiful souls. Keep going, keep driving and keep pushing because the truth will prevail more and more. As the days go on, beautiful souls, the light is literally hitting the planet into all of these places. And let me tell you, there's a lot of hierarchy around the world, institutions, people and places and spaces that many have looked up to in the past that have been basically places of nefarious activities. Let me just put it that way. And beautiful souls, these people, these entities that have taken over these people is what I should be saying. These demons, right, they are being exposed. And this is what is probably and is stirring up literally the hornet's nest on the planet right now, right? Because for centuries they've had their way. They've controlled humanity, right? No more. The greatest support that you can have is the support of God. Oh my goodness, you cannot fail, beautiful souls. Call in the light of God and the angels and stand strong in your beliefs because the challenge you are facing is an opportunity to understand your purpose in life. Believe, trust and go. Everything, I've said this in other videos, beautiful souls, everything that you have been through, God wastes nothing. He will use every place that you have been in, every situation, everything that has been done against you, and he is going to turn it around. God, source, infinite intelligence, divine, the almighty creator, however you reference God. For me, it's God, beautiful souls. But again, call in the light of God. The angel stands strong in your beliefs because the challenge you are facing is an opportunity to understand the purpose of your life. Beautiful souls, whatever was sent to break you and take you out will most likely be the purpose and soul mission of you being on this planet right now because you overcame it. You didn't stay down. You got back up and you kept fighting. God loves that spirit, beautiful souls. As I said, he is raising up so many people on this planet right now. People, and I'm getting goosebumps again, that no one has ever seen or heard from ever before. Right? And they're just showing me again, Cinderella cleaning the floors and the staircases in this cold, cold castle that the evil stepmother, stepmother and sisters basically had her bound isolated from the world, working, toiling every day. Many of you feel as though this is my life. I'm in this perpetual cycle. How do I break free? Beautiful souls. It is coming. It is coming and it is coming in a big, big way. Mother Mary, what a gorgeous, gorgeous clarifier, beautiful souls, right? Mother Mary, miraculous encounter for many of you. This is going to be born from a, a miraculous encounter that is coming your way. Many of you, they are saying you are going to have visitations from the divine, from, from the divine realms, angels appearing to you, earth angels, beautiful souls, the divine masters, ascended masters, beautiful souls, archangels, 
Many of you are gifted. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a simple woman with a divine mission to bring sacred love into the world. Beautiful divine feminines especially. I heavily feel this one is for you. But again, we carry both energies and of course, beautiful divine masculines. This is also you. We need the lion strength. We need the men to be stepping up right now as well. The men were always the protectors of the women and the children. But the women, we are happy to stand right next to you and fight, right? For the truth, for love, for justice to prevail on this planet. One of the most important lessons of Mary's life was when Archangel Gabriel brought her the message that she was going to be the mother of Christ. When Gabrielle appeared to her, she heard the message, Do not be afraid, for I am an angel of the Lord. This wasn't necessarily telling her not to be afraid because she was having a spiritual vision. What did I just say? Many of you, particularly in dream state, beautiful souls, may be having vivid dreams prophetic dreams beautiful souls and plus the light comes in again more not to be afraid of being this powerful oh my goodness beautiful souls this is most likely how you look to the world full of love and kindness and compassion but behind there there is like a lion's heart they're just saying courageous and strong and so very powerful and so much needed on this planet right now your message you have spiritual visions and miraculous encounters at this time what did i just say many of you will be and for some of you it may scare you because this is so powerful this is this is big beautiful souls for some of you, it is going to be like jaw dropping. You are going to wake or when you have these visions, this could be during the day as well, beautiful souls. But I heavily feel for many of you, this is going to be in dream state, like vivid dreams or waking up and seeing, right? Angels at the foot end of your beds, beautiful souls, right? Angelic beings, do not be afraid of your gifts. They are God-given abilities to help you remember who you are and where you have come from. Well, you've come from God, beautiful souls. You are all a spark of the divine, which is why I say you can't lose. In this season, you cannot lose, beautiful souls. If you have been wondering about the spiritual significance of certain encounters or experiences, know that the main message that God is trying to get to you is that you are not alone. You are not alone, beautiful souls. You may have felt that way. Your whole life may have been lonely. Periods of isolation and separation. I feel you on that. Did not fit in, never fitted in. Weird, right? Did not want to be in certain places and spaces. Always felt like the left shoe on the right foot. It Nothing ever really fitted beautiful souls. And there may have been periods where you might have kind of just gone along with the flow. But essentially, beautiful souls, this is your spirit. This is your spirit here. This is your heart. You are not alone and you are a significant bringer of light onto this planet. Your psychic abilities and spiritual abilities have been awakened by some major shift in your life. Many of us have literally weeks ago offline I was chatting to different people going have you felt the shift no have you felt the shift no I can feel the energies moving but I haven't felt the shift oh, 
I felt the shift, beautiful souls. I have felt the shift in this last week, this last seven to 10 days, and we will all be different. For many of you, it's about to be lit up. It's, a, it's about to be on fire, like an inferno, beautiful souls. Like one minute, you'll be just over here in your day-to-day, -day, just going through the motions, and the next minute, you're going to be on fire, literally. This could have been an overwhelming, challenging or emotional moment, but it has set you on a path to remembering that you can heal. You can heal, beautiful souls, every single one of you, and help others. Wow. Angels of peace are here now to guide you on your way to harmony in all aspects of your world. Beautiful souls, I know for many of you, because I'm going to put my hand up here, all we want is peace. We've had so much turmoil and so many traumas and dramas and big situations and losses and betrayals and all kinds of things that all we want now, we many of us feel as though we've been Joan of Arc our entire life. We've just been in, in a battle. They're just saying the 100-year war. Many of us feel like we have been in a 100-year war. Many of us have been warriors in past lives, beautiful souls, Right as well that imprint coming through courageous that lion heart they just keep saying lion heart that is you beautiful souls you are not scared you are not afraid and as i said while the world is burning around you you are still st standing strong with your sword ready to go you are a, not a quitter you are a fighter and this is what god loves and this is why you are going to be blessed you are going to be blessed, beautiful souls. You are already blessed. You are so blessed. You have been handpicked and hand chosen by God for such a time as this. Your light, your love, your healing presence in rooms, in spaces and places is going to shift the energy and the environment around you. People are going to be drawn to you. They will not understand why. They will just connect with your light and your glow. Right, this beauty, this light of the divine, the love, the love energy, beautiful souls, pumping out of you, they're just saying, radiating out of you, touching people's lives. Beautiful souls, you are being called. Do not be afraid. Many of you, as I said before, are going to have these prophetic dreams and visions, these, these encounters, beautiful souls, right? The challenges, the trials, the tribulations that you have been through are not in vain. God knows the bigger plan for your life and it is big. Beautiful souls, hit me up in the comments. Let me know, does this resonate? Is this you? Claim it, believe it, receive it with all of your heart and soul. God is all over this beautiful souls. As I said, there is a massive surge, a massive awakening on the planet right now especially his chosen ones i love you all have the most beautiful blessed amazing day all of my other links are in the description box below and i'm sending you all so much love and light on this day and i will see you in here for the next one bye for now